Hi everyone, I am at Birchwood Manor. I'm at Birchwood Manor in New Jersey. It's the first time at this wedding venue, so I'm very, very excited. I've already arrived about two hours early just to do a little walkthrough and tour. And then uh, we're just kind of going through all the gear now just so we're super prepared. We know the lay of the land and we get started with the wedding day feeling very confident. So that's really important to me. Also, like the groom texted me this morning saying that the makeup artist didn't have a good, like didn't bring a light with her. So they asked if I can bring a light, so I did and that's up in the bridal suite because the bridal suite here doesn't have any natural light going on uh so if you do plan on having a wedding here or shooting a wedding here you need to have flash or some kind of good light to bring with you uh for those kind of bridal prep photos um, but this place is beautiful i mean it has that historic vintage touch you'll see in the photos shortly and as we do a walk through of this venue so excited to take you guys along enjoy the journey this place is massive there are so many places to have an event in here so there is a chance that there could be two weddings or events at once on the wedding day but look I'm sure they're gonna have an amazing team here to make sure no one sees each other across paths or guests know where to go. But let's go ahead and walk through. Uh, so the front entrance here, what I'm imagining for photos here is actually something really creative. I want to do a really cool light in the background behind these glass doors and it should be blasting light and having them right here. I think at night when this light is lit up, it's just gonna be magic. And I'll use my 14 to 24 millimeter lens for that. I think it's just gonna be super epic. So let's go on through. And this inside, I have to say, is pretty iconic for this venue because it reminds me of the Titanic movie. So let's go. Look at these ceilings. Look at the chandelier. The staircase is just magical. And who doesn't want the Rose and Jack scene from the Titanic here? Come on, her walking down the steps and him going, ah. So up these steps are actually um, bride and groom suite. So we have the groom suite on the left and the bride suite on the right. Over here is that bridal suite I mentioned before through these doors. And that's the groom suite over here. But they have bathrooms in this bridal suite. So there should be no issues if the bride had to go to the bathroom and like escape here. So they don't cross paths at all. So she should stay safe in there during pictures and bathroom breaks and all that for the groom. He doesn't have a bathroom in there, so he'll have to escape, um, which is kind of perfect for the layout here. So this is where that reception is, the ballroom, and the ceremony is going to be all the way out here. So we're going to go this way. It's across the venue, and like I mentioned before, like they can host a lot of different events at the same time. So they figured it out how to make sure nobody crossed the path. But this is essentially the way we're gonna go to get to the ceremony. So let's go. Here we go. And now the drapery for the ceremony. This is where I would take uh, couples out for pictures cute little hidden gem that is just a romantic classic and then I'll take you over here to where the ceremony is so this is another really cool shot for their photos here and taking photos through here I think it's just really cool and iconic for this venue we're gonna make it work today I'm very excited uh, let's go and check out the ballroom I'll show you guys that too I don't know how to say it. I still feel like I'm in the Titanic movie. I love it. Um, we got some of their stuff set up over here. You know what's really cute? Because I am like into that fairy tale aspect romance film type thing. And they have storybooks as their setting places. I think it's so cute. Uh, so I'm very excited about this like theme that they're going for vintage vibe. It's not complete, but I really like the stage. There is an outdoor area that can also be a ceremony, but that's not where they're doing it. Um, I might grab them to take photos out there because I do like the garden that's out there. So that's basically it. So we're gonna get started on detail shots first. We're looking for good light for detail shots because I don't like where we have overhead lighting in a room. Um, so what I'm looking for is right here on top of my hand is a really nice even light because if I move over, it starts to get you know harsh here. We don't want that and too dark. So we wanna get really nice natural light. So what I brought, Rachel, I'm gonna grab this from you. My detail flat lay, um, which is DIY, because if you're a photographer watching this, you're gonna love it. 
save a lot of money, and it's velvet. Every couple that I work with, I send a deep dive questionnaire and I offer some options with pictures they can choose what they want to elevate their flat lay shot. So she's going for a gold vintage vibe, so she chose some um, pair of scissors that I have here, a really nice gold tray to put her ring on. It's a complimentary thing that I do for my couples. I always start every wedding day with detail shots. This takes about 45 minutes, guys. So um, let's get started, bye. We got the groom suite at Birchwood. Everyone's dressed, looking sharp. Yeah, how is everyone feeling? Good. Good. Stressed. <laughs> That's real, that's real. <laughs> Just learning how to tie a tie, pro. <laughs> Yeah, she. Oh, she's like. Should we have that to Mrs. Savior? Advantage of just that. Oh, okay. Just say out of us, I suppose. Look, beautiful, Jeff. Thanks. We love you, Jeff. Thanks. We're here at the bridal suite at Birchwood Manor. It is massive. Look, there are two extra spare rooms for hair and makeup and bathrooms inside. There's that light I brought for the makeup artist since there was no uh, window light. Okay, so one of the quick tips as a wedding photographer that you need to give to your brides and anyone getting her into the dress is please wash your hands because they're touching something very expensive and it's white. We don't want any stains on it. So that's one of the tips you want to share with whoever you're working with on the wedding day not to do that. Um, and I like to start every bridal prep photo with a bride headshot with fresh hair and makeup. And then we get her in the dress with very important people like mom, maid of honor, things like that. So we're starting with that first. That's Look at the bestie. <laughs> Come. We have two dresses for today. Fab. All right, I'm gonna show you how I do off-camera flash with this Magmon. It's the 24-inch Octabox 8200. I have a trigger here that communicates with that flash. So right now, first things first, I need to turn on the camera without the trigger on so we can see how I like the settings. So I'm gonna go with uh, probably 1000, 160, 2.8, and see how this looks, because I like how lit the chandelier is in this frame, as well as the background in there, okay? So, as you can see there, my settings. Now we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna turn on the flash. I have it on, I want it on TTL. So we're gonna put it on TTL without any power to it. So it's just our exposure power, so it's just that. So that's gonna communicate with 8200. So I'm gonna focus on the subject. Take a shot, see how that looks. It's a little too bright for me. Uh, so what, as you can see, the black is just showing that the highlights are too bright. That's a little warning sign. So I'm gonna lower it by bringing up my up stop. See that? That's much better for me. I can work with that. I can even go up higher on my f-stop if I wanted to. Lower my ISO. Much better. You'll see I can get like a reflection and then subject. I really like that where she's, her profile's lit up. This is why it's clutch to have Rachel around. She's like so proactive. Setting up the details for the bride as we set up for her moment to get in the dress. Yeah. So that's what you're gonna do with the veil. Ready? One, two, three. Drop the veil. Beautiful. Oh, that's stunning. Are we gonna do all? I don't. I don't think you and I think something. Pause it there, honey. You're gonna tell him to turn however you want, okay? One, two, three. Some people like to see. 
stick their tongue out, or put bunny ears, or just do like pussy face. <laughs> or <laughs> oh, <laughs> I haven't seen that one before. And then you're gonna lift it up because there's some wet pieces. So you don't want it wet. Yeah, you don't want it touching wet floor. Beautiful. You're in your little fairy mansion forest. Stop right there. Oh, amazing. Stay right here. Okay, so still holding her dress, can you come around to give her a kiss on the uh, lips here? And start walking again. Lead the way. Beautiful. Perfect! And you can stand up. Woo! That was perfection. Good job. Alright, yeah. And the wind. You got a clutch bridal party team. Like, look at this. Everyone's so helpful. Okay, the the highlights aren't too overexposed, which I like. So it's 200 as fast as the flash power can go at 200 uh, shutter speed. 2.8, I kind of like that for my S-stop and 1600 ISO. So I'm gonna turn on my on-camera flash, which is directed towards a white ceiling. And I like it at one over 16 to start. We do need to change this zoom to 35. I have a 35 millimeter lens. I'm gonna turn this up. Oh yeah. And then we start here. Um, I'm gonna start with 64 uh, at seven exposure. And just take a random shot, see what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Beautiful, I'm gonna shoot this way. I'm happy with it, we're good. What's fun is I can just go vertical and horizontal whenever I want. Yep. And I am okay with this.
all creative shots. So we have this Godox 8200 set out here. I'm gonna blast it through these glass doors and backlight them. So we're gonna take this guy off. We don't need it. Got my 14 to 24 to get real wide on the Nikon Z62. It's beautiful. Okay. So this is how it lights up at night. And go ahead and do that dip. Amazing. I'm gonna go for a kiss.